Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to our daily da'wah dose. Today is a slightly different daily da'wah dose in that I've refrained from making any sort of public statement following the announcement by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, uh, with regards to the start of uh, Shawwal and obviously the end of Ramadan and the commencement of Eid al-Fitr. I have had numerous individuals, scholars and non-scholars getting in touch with me asking about the the soundness of that witness statement and then the acceptance of the committee in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, but more so, since that's not necessarily our concern, but more so the fact that, first of all, people were acting upon that announcement even before a UK committee had made a declaration based on that announcement. Then, obviously, a UK committee made that declaration uh, later on in the evening, but I think it's somewhat academic. Hardly anybody gives them the due respect anyway, so it seems now massages themselves are making those kind of decisions, uh, and they've actually taken it out of the hands of the uh, masjid committees. Uh, sorry, taking it out of the hands of the moon sighting committee and making those decisions, decisions themselves. I have been inundated over the last few hours and late last night, early this morning about what has been going on in the UK, in massages in London, in massages in Birmingham, in uh, you know, up and down the length and breadth of this uh, country. And this is not the, the masjids now speaking, this is the people speaking. We're not talking to an uneducated, um, illiterate people anymore. We haven't been for, for, for decades. Unfortunately, some within the uh, Islamic community or those who have responsibility for our Islamic institutes are under the assumption that they're engaging with an illiterate, uh, uneducated community. That's not the case. Because what we're seeing now is an uprising. And this is why I went out of my way personally and those organizations that I, I'm associated with trying to engage with ulama, but unfortunately ulama wish to just brush it under the carpet and not engage with this topic. Now they're going to be left with very little choice because there are literally people marching on masjids and demanding change. And because of that, the people power, the hashtag generation, they have changed. The social media, they have now changed positions. Masjids have changed positions literally overnight because the people will not tolerate it. The fact that the UK uh, masjids are adopting positions from outside of this country, which are clearly uh, based upon un uh, 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 un inappropriate methodology. Now, whatever each country decides, that's their prerogative and that's their choice. We are here living in the UK and we need our own solution. Now, I know I'm involved and others are involved in trying to bring a solution here for the UK, but our ulama now need to take that responsibility and take a lead. It's not a case of just leaving it and thinking it will just go away. It hasn't gone away. And now literally the people power is coming to the surface. So again, I addressed in this particular daily da'wah dose is, is particularly addressed to the ulama that come forward, meet people. Let's discuss this. Let's find a solution so we can bring about unity within the UK. But the main thing that we can bring about in the UK is some calmness again. This is, you know, we are, we are ending the month of Ramadan. Uh, which is a religious month, a highly regarded month. And all we're preoccupied on the last day is what's going on and what's not going on. And we're spending all our time on the phone. The second thing is Eid al-Fitr is supposed to be a joyous time, a time of happiness, a time of sharing and caring. But unfortunately, it's turning into hate and potentially could lead to violence. So we need a strategic way forward. Um, otherwise, this will get worse before it gets better. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us strength to take this task on board. Jazakum khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.